What's up guys, Ultimate Debate, back with another video. And as you can tell, I'm not in my usual location, trying out something new. Um, hopefully it'll be permanent or I can work something out so I can get this on a usual basis. But for now, let's enjoy it. Um, today, my video is gonna be about a phone software that kind of got overlooked um, and then I would say left behind. Because you have iOS that's super simple to use and you have Android that has a lot of options and is really great for people who want it. And then you have Windows that's just kind of floating in the middle somewhere that you're not really sure what's going on. Um, so there's a lot of really cool things. I bought the Nokia Lumia 640 for $30. Yes, $30 from Best Buy full price. And I bought the Moto E from Best Buy also on sale for $30. It's normally 60 or something on sale so I, I picked them both up and I wanted to do kind of a, compa a comparison to see if I spent the same on an Android phone in a Windows market what would it look like turns out there's not a whole lot of price point uh, parallels between Android and Windows there's only like three or four real Android or uh, Windows phones um, so the 640 is a great budget phone there's just a lot of things that are left out. Um, the biggest thing for me would be from the notifi notification bars, you can't access anything like you can on Android or even iOS. Um, you, you can't turn on Wi-Fi quickly. You have to actually you click on it, it takes you away. It's kind of annoying. Um, but even on paper, the phone specs are much better than the Moto E, which keep in mind is twice the price originally. So you get a much thinner device a much taller device, a much wider device, and also a much brighter screen. So the pixel dens density is much better on the Windows phone. The camera is better, the camera aperture, um, the f-stops better. Literally everything about it, even the battery. The battery is a little bit better. Um, and from call quality wise, using both of them for about three or four days, I actually liked the functionality of the Windows phone better. I liked how camera, the pictures looked. I like how calls sounded. Um, I will point out that the, the speakers on the Windows phone, it's right here. Um, it might not look like an issue, and most of the time it's not if you're holding the phone like this or even like this. But when you put it down on a couch, something soft that'll actually mold into the phone, um, it gets painful because you can't really hear anything. Um, whereas the Moto E, it's actually right here. It's just one dedicated speaker, so you can always hear pretty well and not cover it up accidentally. Um, the Windows Phone, you can actually access the battery. They're both expandable. The Windows Phone, you can go up to 128 gigabytes. The Moto, 32. So overall, spec-wise, Nokia did a really good job with this. It just kind of sucks that they're limited to the Windows software. It seems like Windows pushed really hard, did really well for a little bit, and then just quit halfway. Because if they would have put more effort, they could have made this a lot better. Um, and it could have possibly gone somewhere, but because they didn't, I feel like it really won't do much. Uh, but anyways, I'll be doing full in-depth reviews of both phones. I'll be putting pictures up. Um, I'll link it below for best prices or whatever. You can check that out. Um, and be on the lookout for more, guys. I did get my, my website up and running, ultimatedebatereviews.com. So go check that out. It'll get you connected with social media. Um, we're doing a contest right now. So be on the lookout for that. Also, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.